Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh. Welcome to Heat Check. This is our weekly look at the last two weeks of the highest selling vintage t shirts on eBay. So let's see what made the list. Number one is pretty crazy. Oh. All right, at number 10, we have this 1980s WWF Bruno's Back Single Stitch Wrestling Tee. Not going to play like I know a lot about wrestling, though I do think it's pretty funny. Bruno's Back, it's a picture of Bruno's Back. Uh, this is a really interesting t-shirt because it doesn't have a, like a front hit at all. Like, there's nothing on the front, it's just on the back. Uh, it's on the Touch of Gold tag size large, but of course, you know, 80s t-shirts tend to be much smaller than that. Looks like this one comes in about uh, just over 36 inches total um, for the chest. Uh, so, uh, still a cool t-shirt if you're a collector. This is definitely one of those ones you want to pick up because they are rare, um, especially uh, being from the 80s. And this one sold for $1,158 with a 24 bids. So plenty of healthy demand for this thing. People trying their best to pick it up. Super cool t-shirt. Then at number nine, we have a t-shirt that's much more up my alley. This 1994 Smashing Pumpkins uh, Siamese Dream t-shirt. Uh, freaking love Smashing Pumpkins. They don't tend to have like the coolest t-shirts in my opinion, uh, but this one is super cool. Uh, I've actually never seen this one personally. Um, I'm not necessarily sure it's not all that rare necessarily, but uh, I certainly haven't come across it before. Uh, it looks like it's in pretty clean condition in a, what did it say it size was? Uh, the measurement's just over 21 inches for uh, the pit to pit, which is pretty good. Uh, probably a size large, probably about right, maybe, uh, you know, shrunk a little bit, but uh, super great t-shirt here. Love it. This one sold for $1,180 with 22 bids as well. Uh, definitely plenty of healthy demand for this t-shirt. I would love to have this in my own personal collection. Then we have the nine inch nails further down the spiral black colored size extra large. This is one of those classic nine inch nails t-shirts, uh, 1995, uh, super cool graphic. Um, it looks like it's on the all sport tag to me. Yeah, it's on the all sport tag. Uh, super cool t-shirt here. Uh, this one was an offer that was accepted for $1,200. Again, one of the cool cooler uh, Nine Inch Nails t-shirts for sure. Uh, pretty classic for Nine Inch Nails. Uh, dope t-shirt. Alright, then we have a vintage Wu-Tang wrap tee. Uh, this one's super cool. We got the whole crew here. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of Wu-Tang recently. Um, they were really hot early in the summer, obviously having a tour and stuff. I think that made a big difference. Uh, but this one looks super cool. Uh, who knows what tag that is. <laughs> it's hard to say. Uh, but this one's super sick. Freaking love it. Uh, love the colors, uh, especially. Graphic is great. Get the uh, parental advisory, explicit lyrics. Um, that's interesting, uh, by the way. This is kind of interesting. I recently got um, uh, a Vera warning. A Vera, uh, yeah, a Vera warning for a, uh, an article of clothing that had that uh, sticker on it. Uh, so curious about that. But anyway, uh, still super dope t-shirt. Looks like in pretty good condition. Uh, they say it's XL, so that's even better. Uh, went for $1,375 at auction with eight bids plus shipping. Next up, we have this vintage Bjork debut shirt. Uh, this one is super cool. Um, rare Bjork t-shirt. Uh, I think we've seen something very similar to this, if not the exact one, um, on this uh, countdown before, but it's on the late 80s Haynes BFT tag. Size XL, great size, especially uh, for this t-shirt. This thing looks super clean. Don't know if there's a story about, about it. Doesn't look like it is. Then doesn't look like they have one. Uh, but yeah, in immaculate condition. This thing looks so clean, incredibly clean. Uh, except maybe, nope, that's just a stamp. Uh, this one's really great. Any Bjork fan or uh, collector of rare t-shirts should have this one. It went for $1,500 plus shipping. All right, next up we have this vintage Junior Mafia wrap tee. It always gets me that you know some of these t-shirts like or you know any items that go for a lot with such basic you know titles. But um, 
the item itself carries the, the value, so that's what they're going with here. This super cool Junior Mafia uh, t-shirt. We don't haven't seen Junior Mafia on this list, so welcome Junior Mafia to the uh, top 10 heat check list. This thing looked great. The graphics are obviously somewhat faded, but that's almost like perfect in a, like a really perfect way. Um, I don't. They don't show a picture. Of the Actually, I don't think there's a tag. Uh, oh, there's a tag. They don't show. It's pretty worn out. But anyway, dope T-shirt. Let's see if there's measurements. Size XL. Great size. Uh, perfectly uh, worn in. It, it's fantastic. This T-shirt went for two thousand dollars plus shipping. Next up, we have a fairly regular appearance of a butthole surfer T-shirt. Uh, this one, super cool, super like very much a butthole surfers t-shirt <laughs> uh, uh, let's see all look, it looks like it's in great condition I mean I don't see anything any major flaws oh there's an actual ticket too that's cool they actually it looks like they have a ticket let's see uh, hand printed by Don Rock that's crazy uh, purchased from the original owner about 1988 and he does oh, the, but the Okay, the stub doesn't come with the t-shirt. Yeah, I was going to say that stub is probably worth a bit of money, too. Um, but that's super cool. It's got some provenance. You always want to see t-shirts with that. Uh, so uh, they only show the front side, which I, I imagine is probably the only side that has a uh, any printing on it. Looks like there is a hole here, but whatever. When you have a t-shirt this rare uh, with this much provenance, that's pretty sick. This one sold for $2,000 as well. Uh, no heat check would ever be complete without some vintage Nirvana t-shirts making the list. We have this 1994 in utero tour tee uh, on the, the heather gray long sleeve. It looks like a pretty heavy cotton t-shirt. I don't know if it's all heavy. Let's see if it's cotton. It's mostly cotton. There's a little bit of polyester in there. Uh, but anyway, this t-shirt has awesome back hits. Looks like it's in fantastic condition. This is the European tour, obviously having the European screen stars tag. Um, this one is a pretty uh, rare piece too. I uh, don't typically see this version, at least not being sold in America. Love the colors, uh, especially on the Heather Gray. It's a little bit of an, more of an unusual color to see this uh, design on. This one it sold for $2,999 plus shipping, coming all the way out of Germany. Uh, makes sense. A beautiful and rare t-shirt. Then at number two, we have this vintage Marvel Carnage Venom 1995 Jumbo Print a Spider Man t shirt. I don't want to call it so much a Jumbo Print. Uh, which is, this is interesting because uh, this is a. Uh this is not from the same batch that we're used to seeing the big all over prints. Uh, this is uh, probably obviously from the same manufacturer and maker and all that stuff. But um, not a huge graphic, uh, a much smaller graphic. Uh, on the Gildan Heavyweight here you can see. Um, super cool t-shirt, not sure which, uh, not sure which, let's see what it say, um, which, doesn't say which uh, comment, uh, which book or you know what episode essentially this was from. Um, obviously, it's a you know a pretty valuable T-shirt. All of these are these these uh, Marvel uh, comic book T-shirts. Uh, this one went for three thousand and fifty dollars with twenty six bids. I am a little surprised at this price because uh, obviously it's a pretty important moment here, Carnage versus uh, Venom, and it's and it's and it's a rare T-shirt as well, obviously, but. Um, I am kind of surprised that this has gone up quite a bit higher than some of the more large prints and that we have seen in the past. Uh, so again, probably just a couple of collectors that are really trying to get uh, their collection and you know, they had to get, uh, they had to, they had to go high to get it to fight each other off. So uh, obviously works out for the seller. So congratulations to the seller for getting such a great uh, prize out of this t-shirt and it's a dope t-shirt nonetheless. Now, before we get to number one, I do want to point out a membership. If you want to support the channel uh, beyond just watching the videos, you can hit the join button below and become a member for just $2.99 a month. And that gets you access to a personal uh, members only live stream on Thursdays where I go over literally everything I have purchased that week. Like all the stuff right here is all the stuff I've purchased this week. We'll be going over it on Thursday uh, piece by piece what I paid for and how much I think I can get out of it. If you want to support the channel again, hit the join button below. Uh, otherwise, thank you for watching the video. Let's get to a number one. We have this vintage 1993 
black in utero nirvana torti uh, no heart shaped box on this one which is nice uh, but this one is incredibly cool this is again the in utero t-shirt put on a black brockham which is actually very rare um, i've never seen one on the black before um, or at least not uh not anytime recently uh, this one is super cool looks like it's in fantastic condition size XL which is a great size to sell um, everything looks as far as I can tell pretty legit uh, super cool t-shirt uh, this is definitely one of those uh, holy grail Nirvana t-shirts uh, that someone's probably had in their collection uh, not you know they say at each show is gonna be a concert looks like a local crew t-shirt this, this thing has this whole story his uncle worked at the Roseland Ballroom in New York City, 1990s. Got a bunch of t-shirts, and that's how this t-shirt came about. Uh, super cool t-shirt. This one sold for $6,600 with 10 bids. Free shipping, of course, at that point, you might as well. Um, huge t-shirt right here. Uh, one of the biggest t-shirt sales we have seen on this list before. Incredible. Now, that was the list. Obviously, number one just blew all of them out of the water. Uh, I think those sort of like one-offs, those crew t-shirts, t-shirts that were made for like one specific, uh, you know, show or something, those t-shirts are going to remain incredibly value, valuable and historical for decades to come. Uh, so getting your hands on one of those is definitely something special. Uh, one day maybe I will <laughs> come across something like that, that cool. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.